So stress is basically a situation that the body perceives as a threat. And when this happens, there's a cascade of events that happens in the body where basically the brain stimulates the stress hormones from the adrenal glands, which is on top of the kidneys. And these hormones are called your adrenaline and cortisol. These are your stress hormones. And these hormones are what's responsible for the flight and fight response. Now cortisol provides energy for this fight and flight response because they help to increase the level of blood sugars in the bloodstream by stimulating the release of glucose from the cells. They help to reduce inflammation, they increase memory, they also control your blood pressure along with adrenaline, which is another stress hormone. Adrenaline increases your heart rate and your blood pressure. It helps to expand the air in the passage of your lungs. It sends blood to your muscles and it increases your body metabolism. And that's why, remember watching those movies and you can see the girl just running and running from the enemy, like in movies like Scream, for instance. You know, the girl's running, cannot catch her. Or maybe in real life, you know, you've had someone that you were running from and all of a sudden you just had this energy from nowhere where basically you're running from miles and miles on end and no one can catch you. Maybe you're a burglar running from the police, for instance. Or a better example would be when you see athletes, you know, who are running and running, that's the adrenaline and that's the stress hormone. I mean, there are pros and cons, you know, to utilization of the stress hormones. For example, as I mentioned, as an athlete, you know, running 100 meter sprints, 200 meter sprints or doing the marathon. But the con would be if you had an injury, for instance, and because of the adrenaline, you're not aware that you have an injury, like a fracture of your leg, and you keep running, and when you stop, and that's when you can now feel the pain, because your cortisol and your adrenaline has now come down as your body starts to calm down and relax. Now, these are what we call an acute stress response. But what happens in a chronic stress, for example, which usually happens in a workplace, where basically you might be stressed with work, stressed with your manager, stressed with your colleagues, you're in a chronic stressful situation, or it could be in a home, you know, you're stressed with your kids, your partner, or whatever else is happening at home. You might notice that this cortisol and adrenaline are always high. So this means your heart rate remains high, your blood pressure remains high, the hormones are never switched off. So this means your metabolic and immune processes get disrupted, and this can lead to problems in the body. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch further videos, please subscribe to my channel.